Marcus Presents is brought to you by Cox Communications, connecting you for 25 years. <laughs> it looks pretty quiet in there, Chopsley. I don't think we have anything to work. Oh, hello there, friends of science, doctors, those of the higher order, and of course, you great charitable Americans who, who give so much to others. <laughs> Tonight, tonight is your night to give the ultimate sacrifice, my friends. Every one of you watching will be given a chance to be part of our great experiment. <laughs> Never before in television has anything quite like this been done. As a matter of fact, in a moment, we will open up the secret room. <laughs> you know about that. Chopsley is going to go inside and, and bring out many of the patients who rely on my gener... Chopsley, oh, don't worry about it, <laughs> he'll do it. They rely on our generosity, of course. You see, doctors also do a great deal of charity work. As a matter of fact, it's, uh, it's really part of our oath. However, there are, of course, very few doctors like myself who, who have their very own uh, department of unusual charity cases. <laughs> However, I'm a little hesitant at this moment about telling you exactly what these cases are all about for, uh, for fear that uh, you may think that we're involved in some kind of a horror film fantasy. <laughs> but I will give you a hint. See if you can find the word hemology in the dictionary. <laughs> I'll give you one minute. <laughs> and now, stay true. The master will return in one brief moment. All right, just pay attention and nothing will happen, all right? Now, they look pretty calm in there to me. <laughs> Let's open it quietly. You keep an eye on them, though. Oh, it's okay. Ah, well, close it, close it, close it. All right, all right, all right, all right. Get the bomb, get the bomb. Oh, here it is, okay. I pull the pin, you open the door. All right, ready? Okay. Throw it, throw it. <laughs> <laughs> That'll get them. That'll tranquilize them. Yeah, okay. You go ahead in there. That's all right. Oh, <laughs> hi there, friends. Well, uh, Chopsley here is uh, going into our recovery area. Disaster area, master. That'll do, Eric. Well, I suppose you had a little difficulty finding the word hemology in the dictionary. <laughs> you see, they're afraid to put it in there. It means love of blood. <laughs> Nor will you find the word kleptohemomania. <laughs> klepto from the Greek word kleptokos, which means uh, uh, stealing. Hemo meaning blood, and of course the Greek word mania, which means uh, a little screw loose, you see. Kleptohemomania. You see, that translates to the word vampire. <laughs> That's right, vampire. Now look, don't run off. <laughs> there really are such cases, and it's not quite like the horror Hollywood version. I mean, they don't fly around like bats, but they do consume an awful lot of blood. Would you believe over five gallons a day? <laughs> now, here's the bad news. There's a sickness going around in this community right now, and it's spreading throughout neighborhoods. Now, I don't want to alarm you. Some of them are very mild cases, unrecognized cases. Others are full-blown, like we have here in our clinic. <laughs> All right, Chopsley. <laughs> Bring her over here to the machine. This is Victoria, friends. All right, Victoria. As a matter of fact, I'm going to give you a nourishment right away, dear. We're ready to turn it on. Here, you just take it in your hands like we normally do. Okay, there you go. All right, take your time. We've got a long way to go. <laughs> You see, friends, what we have here is a problem of blood supply. And that's where you come in. <laughs> you know, I told you a while back you'd be a part of this experiment. Well, those of you who live here in the city are already helping out and really don't know it. <laughs> you see, we've been breeding and releasing all-weather mosquitoes on the city all week. <laughs> Step over here quickly. This is a little breeding device. We have a big compartment out on the rooftop. We allow the mosquitoes to come in here into our breeder, and then we release them through this trap here, 
out through the window and into the city skies. And over here, we have my Morgusso mosquito compressor. It attracts the mosquitoes back after they've gone out and bitten a few people and taken in the blood. It comes through the window over here to this little antenna, which is like a, a mating call. It sends out a signal and it attracts the mosquitoes. Once the mosquitoes <laughs> get back into the lab, the little bug light here naturally attracts them, zaps them, and they drop into the crusher. And of course, we turn the crusher, squeezes them. <laughs> they literally are pressed into service, <laughs> so to speak, and give their lives to science. And of course, give their blood that you have contributed. And this is what we're going to do tonight. I want you to open up your windows, my friends. Open up your windows, please, your doors, no matter what the weather is like, please. And let our vampire mosquitoes in. You'll be helping humanity. And I've got some big things for you later on in the program. In one moment, the experiment will continue. No, Mrs. Fetish, I don't feel any mosquitoes biting me. I don't understand it. Oh, look, I gotta go, I gotta go. <laughs> oh, hi, friends. That was my landlady, Mrs. Fetish, uh, complaining about mosquitoes in the building. <laughs> she doesn't realize what we're doing for humanity. As a matter of fact, I have been getting a lot of calls from closet vampires in this community. I told you this could be a, an epidemic. And I have written here on my board, and I want you fellas down at the station to get a close-up of this. There are five symptoms I want you to look for. One is a strong desire or enjoyment in drinking any red liquid. I mean, that could be tomato juice, strawberry daiquiris, or even Bloody Marys. Number two, any sleepiness during the daylight hours and a sudden burst of energy at night. That is a strong symptom. Number three, unusually elongated eye teeth. Now, that is a major symptom. If you have that and any of the other ones, you're in serious trouble and should get down here tonight. Number four, two small pink holes anywhere on the side of the neck. Well, you know, that's very serious. And of course, last but not least, a widow's peak. Well, I know a lot of you have widow's peaks, but if you have that and any one or two of the others, I want you to get down here tonight because you may need blood. <laughs> oh, that's where these little devils come in. <laughs> Your grandmothers will know what this is. These are leeches. They used to sell them in the drugstores to, to take black eyes away. You stick them on you, and of course the leeches suck the blood. We are going to be mailing these out to those of you who will volunteer to give us your name and address. And as a matter of fact, Eric is going to be working with us tonight. Eric, are you ready? Yes, Master. You see, what we're going to do, we have connected Eric to the telephone lines. And when you call this number I'm going to give out, and by the way, you guys at the station, put this number on the screen. 555 Morgus. <laughs> I made a deal with the phone company. I said, put it on the screen. 555 Morgus. Put it up, fellas. <laughs> All right. There you go. No, no, no. It's spelled with a, with a U. M O R G U S. Oh. You guys don't even know how to spell my name. For heaven's sakes, this is embarrassing. M O R G U S. You dial 555, folks. M O R G U S. And we will take your name and your address, and we will mail out to you, we'll pay for the postage, about a dozen leeches. Now you take these leeches and you put them on your body, uh, on your neck particularly, or uh, anywhere the sun don't shine, <laughs> it doesn't matter. And these leeches, of course, will suck a certain amount of blood and then they automatically fall off. Get that ready, Chosley. Now Eric, of course, will be able to take the names and addresses here on a little printout, and of course we'll be able to to mail this to you. Now, remember the name, Morgus. Remember the phone number, 555-M-O-R-G-U-S. Chopsley, you've got the, uh... okay, here we go. Now, that's it. We're gonna have a motto here, and I gotta make a little commercial and ask you to donate tonight, friends. You are helping a worthy cause. Many people will be coming here to our clinic tonight to be treated. They need blood. The machines are gonna be very busy tonight, and we want you to reach for a leech. Send your name and address 
to 555 MORG US tonight. Dial right now and we will send you a box of leeches. All you need to do is put those dozen leeches on your body, have the blood drawn out, put them back in the box, and mail them back to us with the label that's already on the box. All right, Chopper, hang on. Stay right there. You ain't seen nothing yet. This is wonderful, Eric, wonderful. Oh, hi, friends. Look at the readout already. Hundreds and hundreds of people have been calling and reaching for a leech and volunteering. That's the spirit of America. You generous Americans are not forgetting us tonight. And you know, I know a lot of people are picking us up on satellite and in other parts of the country. And you are the ones we're after. You are the ones that can call, even a 1-800-555-MORGUS, and put in your name and address, and Eric here is standing by to pick it up. Chopsley is so busy over here, you wouldn't believe the number of boxes we've already packed to mail out to you generous Americans. Now, again, 555 M O R G. Oh, wait, Chopsley, that's a mosquito alert. We got a little alert here. We can tell when the squadrons of mosquitoes are coming back with blood. Isn't this beautiful? This is what science is all about. We can do these things. Bring them in, Chopsley. All right. That's it. You see, they're following. <laughs> looks like the airport, doesn't it? But actually, that really works. Mosquitoes go by light. They're following the light that Chopsley is waving there. And once they get inside this broken window, they will then pick up this blue light. All right, Chopsley, you can slow it down. They're coming in. There they are. <laughs> Let them in here. All right. Now they're being zapped, oh, by the dozens. They're falling in there and being sucked in. <laughs> Goodbye, little devil. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Oh, imagine, from all over the country and the countryside, we've got blood coming here into the presser. And this is just like a wine press. I mean, it, just like a, a grape presser making wine. You just, I think that's about all of them. What we're going to do is press them now, squeeze them into the tank, and of course it gives us more of the solution. Oh, there we go. <laughs> all right. Oh. Oh, all right, that'll do it. All right, okay. Now, that ought to do it. That gives us uh, all the pressure we need also in there. Oh, uh, Chopsley, go get Norman. Go get Norman right away. And don't worry about it. Uh, they're already tranquil. It'll last three or four hours. Chopsley's going to get uh, another one of our real basket cases. Uh, Norman's been with us about 15 years, and of course, he's a very weak uh, vampire. He's not dangerous. I've never seen him, you know, try anything. But we've got to keep these people this way until we find a cure for vampirism. Oh, there he is. All right, Norman, I've got some nourishment for you. You'll be a good boy now. As you see, Norman looks a little weak. Norman, you just put this in your hands. All right, take it easy. Just take it very easy. Good, Norman. Very good, Norman. <laughs> All right. These are the kind of people we really want to help. Norman here is a good example. The kind of people you can help tonight by calling 555-MORGUS and giving us your name and address, my friends. I beg of you, help. Oh, you see, we already have people coming in. All right, all right. Look, oh, oh wait, wait, oh no, wait, hold it. Oh, good, great. Look, look, you can't come in right now. Uh, I'll be right out with you. Each one of you take a seat out there, please. Thank you very much. Uh, we'll, uh, we'll be back in a little moment, friends. Uh, I have quite a few visitors. Uh, some of them you may recognize. Stay where you are. The master returns momentarily. Listen, I don't have enough hoses to hook all of you up, you understand? So you take these bottles and don't drink it too fast. Okay, you hang on to this, take your time, and please don't drink it too fast. Now the rest of you just stay here and, and I'll be out to, to help you in a little while. Just hang on. All right. Oh, hi friends. 
we've got some more basket cases. And I tell you what, I'm so disappointed. The mosquitoes aren't coming in as fast as I thought they would. The, the machine's half empty already. You've got to come in. You've got to open up the, the, the windows. You, you, you've got to help us. Uh, we're going to be getting quite a few. We're getting quite a few printouts of people who are volunteering to take the leeches here. Well, I could, oh, there's another alert. Chopley, bring them in. All right. We're bringing in some more mosquitoes. And uh, as far as the rest of you are concerned, please open up your windows. Open up your doors tonight so we can get the blood. Meanwhile, it's going to take about four or five days before the other blood comes in from the leech campaign. All right, that's it. There they are. Okay. Bring them on in here. Oh, here they come. Oh, they're all being zapped in there. Oh, there aren't too many, are there? Oh, gee. All right. All right. I tell you, I don't know whether it is because you people are stingy or maybe you're slapping my mosquitoes, but please don't slap them. Please. Let them bite. All right. Let's press them on. All right. All right, that ought to do it. Okay. Okay. Oh, get that, Chopsley. Well, we're getting a little busy around here, folks. What I'm trying to do is to help a very serious situation. Oh, oh, yeah. Would you come over here, please, sir? All right, we're going to have a little conference here, Chopsley. Look busy. Uh, would you sit down, please? Just sit down right here. Uh, what uh, Dr. Morgan, I can, I've got to speak to you privately. Well, we're as private as we can get. <laughs> I mean, it's only Chaucer and I here. Well, Doc, I've, I've got all the symptoms you've described. I, I, I've been a practicing vampire for the last 20 years. 20 years? Yes, sir. The last 20 years. Now, these, these, these last six months, have, they've been driving me crazy. Uh, why? Well... I, 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 I lost my teeth. Oh, let me see that. Good grief. <clears throat> yeah, well, uh, <laughs> bad business to be in. I'm not trying to be funny, but uh, if you lost your teeth, you are in serious condition. I want you to step over here. I'm going to let you get on with our basket cases here. Just come around the back here. Stand over there. Uh, we have a little serious situation here. The poor gentleman lost his teeth and naturally he can't <laughs> he can't suck any blood from anybody thank heavens i have one more hose here that i'm going to give to you by the way what is your name sir my name is oscar oscar just hang on to that all right feel a little better that's the real thing yeah it is the real thing but we're running out of the real thing my friends you can see the blood is going down. We were up here an hour ago. We're now down to here. We've got people out in the hallway. We've got closet vampires in this city that are going to be coming here all night. And by the way, some of you have those symptoms. Don't hesitate. I'm the only doctor that's bringing the problem to the public. Come on down here above the old city ice house downtown. Your mothers know where that is. And get yourself in here right away, and I'll check you up. Maybe you're all right. Uh, by the way, Eric, are we still getting a lot of calls? No, master. No? What are you people doing? Do you realize how serious this is? You think this is some kind of a science fiction joke or something? You'd better get on that phone right now. We don't have enough blood here. Do you realize what these people could do? I mean, they look normal. I've, I've kind of played this thing down. But well, we're talking about the real thing, my friends. If they get out on the streets of this city, your lives are not going to be very normal from here on. I mean, once you get up like that, you become one of those. Believe me, friends, you've got to call this number tonight. If you can't come in here and donate blood, you want to send in blood, call this number. And you guys down at the station, please, please put that number up so these people can call in. I really need all the help. I what? Well, the thing is leaking. Why don't you fix it? Don't just look at it. Oh, no. Fix it. Oh, chops. Oh, look at it. All right, look. And now, stay tuned. The master will return in one brief moment. going to stay there all night. They're not going to go away. <laughs> it's going to get worse. All right. You go up on the rooftop. Check the breeder, okay? And hurry back. 
let me know. Oh, hi, friends. Uh, <laughs> well, we got a little, uh, a little uh, emergency here. Uh, listen, I don't understand it. I asked you people to open up your windows tonight. I told you we could help these poor victims. There are more people in this city than you realize that have this vampire disease. It could strike your neighborhood. You're not listening. You're not believing me. I don't know what it is. Until these little leeches come in here, until you people who have volunteered to take the leeches that we're sending out, we're not going to have enough blood. And I'm telling you, it's going to be an epidemic like you won't be able to handle. I got an idea. I got an idea. Uh, leave it up to me. <laughs> Hello, operator. I want you to get me the Red Cross. This is Morgus. The Magnificent, right. Listen, get me the Red Cross, will you please? Hurry. Oh, come on. What? Don't talk to me about some bill. You people must have me on some kind of a list. Oh, look, please, lady. No, don't hang up. Listen, listen please. This is an emergency. Really, call the Red Cross immediately. How do you know they're not open? Well, look, just try, will you please? Oh, I tell you, some dumb people, they won't even... Sign here, please. Sign here? Yeah. What the, is... The building owner sent me over, uh, Mrs. A. Fetish. Oh, that's my landlady. What, what do you want? What, what... Look, I don't think I've ever seen this many mosquitoes out at this time of year, but don't worry. I got rid of all of them. You, you kill mosquitoes? Of course. Wait a minute, what are you doing spraying at this hour? Hey, look, we never sleep. That's our motto. You never sleep. Listen, fella, these creatures never sleep. Do you realize what you may have done? You don't... Look at their eyes. What? Don't, don't look at their eyes. You can't... You can't... Stop, stop. They're They have me stop. Stop, 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 next week, when more of us... The magnificent takes us into the realm of science. Good night, pleasant dreams. <laughs>